welcome to Sri Lanka Morning Show. I Boan. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sam Dasanayaka. I'm an Ayurvedic doctor practicing in Melbourne. And today I'm going to present you with a very valuable information with regards to movement. The movement is very important, very important for anyone in any age. What is a movement? Movement is that we need to move because rule number one is that sedentary lifestyle will make you unhealthy and you will have many diseases coming your way if you are going to have a sedentary lifestyle but the ironically, ironically it is the sedentary lifestyle that is promoted in the western culture you know the remote all the conveniences in the modern day life you know car everything that will prevent us from doing enough movement so if you understand this then you should make steps to have some movement try to walk as much as possible try, try to have your body move and it is uh, uh, most times people think that you need to jog or run uh, which is not the case at all times what we need to understand is that we need to raise our heartbeat from 160 to 180 and then we can let it settle down so you can jog for five minutes 
and then you can walk for 10 minutes you can again jog for 5 minutes you can again walk for 10 minutes during the day when you are at work during your break please make yourself to take you outside of work if you have a park just go around the block go around the park and when you are going just make sure you do deep inhalations and deep exhalations so this will refresh your mind keep your lungs strong and clear and most importantly it will help the heart because you are giving some exercise for the heart muscles and that will strengthen the heart muscles in any human there is 50% of your nerves 50% of your veins and 50% of the circulation is below the waist so walking will give a good stimulation will give you a good vibration to all these muscles below the waist and for that locomotion you need to use your brain because there is a lot of muscles that work involuntarily but with the use of the mind we will not be able to walk if the mind is unstable so this will stimulate the brain and keep you away from deadly diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson so walk every day at least any walking is good walking even if you walk for five minutes ten minutes even if you are brave enough to park your car a block away and then walk to the train station so coming back you have to walk the same distance back to the car and and you will be the judge for this when you get get inside the car after your evening brisk walk you will find a much more coordinated calmed effort when you are driving you will not be aggravated as fast as that you would do otherwise so walking and the movement is of utmost important and we should make steps to get our body move and make use of all these muscles and refresh it and the other thing is that there is if you have a sedentary if you're not doing so much walking these muscles can get tight and there could be some pectin or acid build up during the muscles and they can get tight and and have soreness but if you are doing mild walking you will find that they are much more relaxed and much more easy and you will find a very restful sleep at night so I hope you will find this information and make use of it and if you need any additional information beyond what we have discussed uh, what, what I have presented today you're more than welcome to contact Sri Lanka Morning Show or Sahandro Ayurvedic Center and we are happy to give you more information until we meet again hi Bowen. Welcome back to another episode of the fascinating world of birds where today I am joined with a familiar face our avid bird enthusiast Chanith Vijayaratna. Welcome Chanith. Thank you for having me. So Chanith, what bird species will you be discussing with us and our viewers today? Well today I've got a personal favourite, the red-necked stint. Can you give us a bit of details about this bird species? Sure, so the red-necked stint belongs to a group of birds called the waders now the waders are quite notable because a great deal of them migrate a very far distance to get here every summer. They go up to Siberia to breed in the winter, then come all the way down here every spring and summer to mud flats where they can be seen feeding. For our bird enthusiasts at home who would like to spot these red neck stints, would you be able to give us a bit of a detailed explanation about their appearance? Sure. So the red neck stint is the smallest of the waders and it's a sort of grey brown bird with a pale underside and darker upper side. It's tiny as well, I can't overstate how small it is, like a little ball of fluff. When you look at them, it's shocking to think that every year they make it up to Siberia and back. They look like they should die before they get halfway there. Oh, wow, so very tiny in size. Yes. And what would their diet consist of being such a small bird species? Well, it's mostly invertebrates and things that they pick up by feeding on mudflats. At low tide, you'll see them flock to mudflats in massive hordes. You mentioned low tide, so would beaches and 
um, water areas be the best places to spot these birds? They're mainly a seaside bird, so they're very common on beaches. In fact, I think a beach near the Melbourne CBD uh, has been notable recently for having them, while normally they don't come that far into the bay. But uh, one of the best spots to see them is Avalon Salt Works, mm -hmm. which is near Werribee. But really, anywhere with good wetlands or mud flats can have them. It depends. They're a very common bird. In fact, pretty much the commonest Australian wader that migrates. Lovely. So it's not a hard bird to see, but unmissable in Avalon, I would say. All right. Well, thank you so much for explaining to us about this fascinating bird species today, Chanit. I'm sure all our viewers have gained a lot from your expertise. Thank you for your kind words. That brings us to the end of today's segment. Join us again next week when we will be discussing more about bird watching and bird species. Thank you. Abacus Solar, latest and reliable solar systems, world best panels and inverters, price beat guarantee, supervised system installation, excellent after sales service. Call 1300 852 843. Rosewood Downs Excellence in Aged Care, a modern purpose built home available in single and double rooms with ensuite and telephone in every room. Contact Ruben and Christine on 9701 3234. Sanji Caldera Associates, with our headquarters based in Melbourne, Australia, you can locate our branch offices in Sri Lanka, Dubai, Canada and London, UK. Some of our services include skilled migration visa, family migration visa, employer sponsorship visa, temporary resident visa, business visa, tourist visa, student visa, administrative appeals tribunal review. Pursuit of excellence through tailored solutions. The science of life, traditionally known as the Ayurveda. Consultations, diagnosis and treatments are done by fully qualified Ayurvedic practitioner, Dr. Sam Dasanai. Sahandro Ayurvedic Center, best wellness experience. New Year Festival Live telecast on Sri Lanka Morning Show. Gold sponsored by Sanji Caldera Associates. Silver sponsor Crystal Clear Flooring. Bronze sponsor Rosewood Downs. Associate sponsors Edson Plastic, Southern Star Motors, Abacus Solar, Jet Travel and Cruise, Australian Workforce, Barna Legal. News Weekly is brought to you by Esden, the horse specialist. Esden Plastics Private Limited, 525 to 527 Hammond Road, Dandenong South. ஐபோவான் Sri Lanka, 
ශ්‍රීලංකා විදේශ සේවා නියුක්ති කාර්යාංශයේ ලියා පදිංචි නොවි විදේශ ගතව සේවා ස්ථානයන්හි ගැටලු වලට බොහොම දී තානාපති කාර්යාල වලට පැමිණෙන කාන්තාවන් සුරක්ෂා නිවාස වෙත බාර ගැනීම අත්හිටුවීමට තීරණය කර තිබේ. නිවේදනයක් නිකුත් කරමින් විදේශ සේවා නියුක්ති කාර්යාංශයේ සඳහන් කර ඇත්තේ එම තීරණය අප්‍රේල් මාස 5 වනදා සිට ක්‍රියාත්මක වන බවයි. එම කාර්යාංශයේ ලියා පදිංචි වී රැකියා සඳහා විදේශ ගතවන කාන්තාවන් වෙනුවෙන් විදේශීය තානාපති කාර්යාලවල කම්කරු සුබ සාධන අංශ යටතේ සුරක්ෂා නිවාස ස්ථාපිත කර ඇති අතර එමගින් විදේශ රැකියාවල නියුතුව සිටියදී අවශ්‍ය විවිධ සේවාවන් ලබා ගැනීම සඳහා තානාපති කාර්යාල වෙත පැමිණෙන කාන්තාවන්ට අවශ්‍ය සුබ සාධන පහසුකම් හා නිවාසික පහසුකම් ලබා දීම සිදු කරනු ලබයි. එම සුරක්ෂා නිවාස ස්ථාපිත කර ඇත්තේ නීතියානුකූල රැකියා සඳහා විදේශ ගතවන කාන්තාවන් වෙනුවෙන් පමණක් වන නමුත් මේ දක්වාම කාර්යාංශයේ ලියා පදිංචි නොවී විදේශ ගත වූ කාන්තාවන් වෙතටද සුරක්ෂා නිවාස වලින් අවශ්‍ය සියලු සුබ සාධන පහසුකම් ලබා දීමට විදේශ සේවා නියුක්ති කාර්යාංශය කටයුතු කර තිබේ. කාර්යාංශයේ ලියා පදිංචි නොවී විදේශ ගතවන කාන්තාවන් සුරක්ෂා නිවාසයට පැමිණ අවස්ථාවලදී ඕන් විවිධ ගැටුම් කාර්යයේ තත්වයන් ඇති කර ගන්නා අතර එම ගැටුම් පාලනය කිරීමට පොලිසිය සහාය ලබා ගැනීමට සිදු අවස්ථාද පසුගිය දිනයන්හිදී ජනමාත්‍ය මගින් ප්‍රචාරණය වීමද සිදු විය. එම තත්වයන් පාලනය කිරීම සඳහා ශ්‍රී ලංකා විදේශ සේවා නියුක්ති කාර්යාංශයේ ලියා පදිංචි නොවී විවිධ නීතියානුකූල නොවන මාර්ගවලින් රැකියා සඳහා විදේශ ගතව සේවා ස්ථානයන්හි ගැටලු වලට මුහුණ දී තානාපති කාර්යාල වලට පැමිණෙන කාන්තාවන් සුරක්ෂා නිවාස වෙත බාර ගැනීම අත්හිටුවීමට කාර්යාංශය තීරණය කර ඇත. විශේෂී නීතියානුකූල මාර්ගයෙන් කාන්තාවන් රැකියා සඳහා විදේශ ගතවීමට උනන්දු කිරීමත් විවිධ තරවුකරුවන් හා නීතියානුකූල නොවන විදේශ රැකියා ආයතනවල මැදිහත් වීමෙන් විදේශ රැකියා සඳහා කාන්තාවන් යොමු වීම අදයිමත් කිරීමටත් ගනු ලැබූ පියවරක් වශයෙන් කාර්යාංශය එම තීරණයට එළඹ තිබේ. රටේ සිසු පරපුර 2048 වනවටදී රට බාර ගැනීමට හැකිවන පරිදි නවීන තාක්ෂණයෙන් සියලු අංශ පිළිබඳව දැනුමින් සන්නද්ධ විය යුතු බවත් තාක්ෂණයේ නවතම දියුණුවත් සමග යාවත් කාලින වෙමින් අනාගතයේ සදා සූදානම් විය යුතු බවත් ජනාධිපති රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහ මහතා පවසයි ජනපති රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහ මහතා මේ බව සඳහන් කළේ කොළඹ ආනන්ද විද්‍යාලයේ 135 වෙනි වාර්ෂික ත්‍යාග ප්‍රදානෝත්සවයට එක් වෙමිනි ජාත්‍යන්තර මූල්‍ය අරමුදලේ සහය සමග වසර හතරකින් ආර්ථිකය ස්ථාවර කිරීමෙන් පසුව පැරණි ක්‍රමවේදයේම අනුගමනය කරනවාද නැත්නම් අලුත් ක්‍රමවේදයක් ඔස්සේ දියුණු වන ලෝකයත් සමග ඉදිරියට යනවාද යන්න අප තීරණය කළ යුතු බවද ජනාධිපතිවරයා එහිදී කියා සිටියේය. මොකද අද දකින්නේ ඊටා අර්බුදකාරී සමාජය. දේශපාලනයෙන් වැටිලා විශේෂයෙන්ම ආර්ථිකයෙන් වැටිලා मन दान काले कपी एक के ने कुआं महिम काले कपी देख के ने आरती के कड़ाई बैठने काले मामा नंगे काली पतिला ने उद्धा काले वक महिम का क्षितु ने ने अपे देमो उपयंग हेमु किए ने हटिए था ते में तो ना हम क्रमवेदी एक म अत्वा से हम क्रिया विरही तो ना ये क्रमवेदी देंग आईएमएफ आधार रहतु अपी दिरी टे हनो कृतहस्त देशपाल मेन्म हिटपू अमावरे गुणवर्धन महत पणस्वन गुण समर उत्सव जनाधिपति रणिल विक्रम सिंह महत प्रधानमंत्री बंडार नायक अनुस्मरण जातंत्र संबंधन शाला वेदी पवेत्न जनाधिपति रणिल विक्रम सिंह महत पिलगनुले आग्रह दिनेश गुणवर्धन महत वी हिटपु जनाधिपति गोटाबे राजपक्ष महत पौत्कलिक निवस असल अरकल कर्वन पिरीसा संकेतात्मक विरोधता वक्सिधु ए हिटपु जनाधिपति गोटाबे राजपक्ष महत पौत्कलिक निवस पवति विरोधेट वसरक सपिरी मनिमित करगने ए अणु पिरीस एहि पेमीन विरोधताव आरंभ कल अतर पशु पोलिस पेमीन विरोधताव विसुरो हरिमठ पेवर गे एहिदी उनसुम तत्व खेतवीय එම අවස්ථාවේදී අරගල කරුවන් පිරිසක් පොලිසිය විසින් අත්අඩංගුවට ගනු ලැබීය. කෙසේ වෙතත් අරගල කරුවන්ව නුගේගොඩ ගුවන් පාලම දක්වා පළවා හැරීමට පොලිසිය කටයුතු කර තිබේ. පසුව අරගල කරුවන් එහිදී විරෝධතාවක නිරතු වුණා. මිරිහානේ ජුබිලි කණුව හන්දියේ සාමකාමී විරෝධයක් පවත්වන්න යද්දී 2022 යද්දී අල්ලගෙන බිම දාගෙන ගහනවා. දැන් මේක තමයි අර රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහගේ ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදය ගැන කතා කරන IMF ආවට පස්සේ ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදය උදාවෙයි කියලා හිතපු අයගෙන් අපි අහනවා මේකද උඹලා කියපු ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදය කියලා 
මෙරට සංගීත ශාස්ත්‍රයට අනුපමේය මෙහෙයක් සිදු කළ ප්‍රවීණ සංගීතඥ සංගීත් දිපුන් සනත් නන්දසිරි මහතාගේ දේහය පිළිබඳ අවසන් කටයුතු බොරැල්ල කනත්තේදී සිදු කරනු ලැබුවා. සංගීත් දිපුන් සනත් නන්දසිරි මහතාගේ දේහය ඇඹුල් දිනිය පළමු පටුවගේ එතුමන්ගේ නිවසේ තැන්පත් කර තැබුණු අතර පසුව දේහය සුන්දර විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයට රැගෙන එනු ලැබුවාය. පසුව ශ්‍රී ලංකා ගොන් විදුලි සංස්ථා පරිශ්‍රයේ දේහය පිළිබඳ අවසන් කටයුතු සිදු කරනු ලැබුවේ. මේ අතර සම්මානනීය චිත්‍රපට සහ ටෙලිනාට්‍ය නළු අමරසිරි කලන් සූර්ය මහතා පසුගේද අභාවා ප්‍රාප්ත විය. ඔහු 1969 වසරේ රයක් දවාල චිත්‍රපටයෙන් සිනමාවට පිවිසියේය. කලන් සූර්ය මහතා හන්තානේ කතාව අක්කර පහ නිම්වලල්ල ආස් ගව්ව බමරු ඇවිත් පොඩි මල්ලි අනුපමා අපේක්ෂා පරිත්‍යාගය පෙම් රජදහන ආදී චිත්‍රපට රැසකට ඔහු රංගනයෙන් දායක විය. කලන් සූර්ය මහතා ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ මුල්ම ටෙලිනාට්‍ය වන දිමුතු බුදුහි ජයසේනගේ චරිතයෙන් මෙරට ප්‍රථම ටෙලිනාට්‍ය නළුවා ලෙස ඉතිහාස ගත වූයේය. දීපශිකා සරසවිය ජනාධිපති ස්වන් සංක සිග්නිස් සම්මාන ලාභියෙකු වන ඔහු කොළඹ රුහුණු සහ පේරාදෙණි විශ්වවිද්‍යාල වලින්ද විශේෂ ඇගීම් ලැබුවාය. ඔහුගේ පුත් දුමින්ද කලන් සූර්ය දක්ෂ ඡායාරූප ශිල්පියෙකි. ත්‍රස්තවාදී වැලක්වීමේ පනත වෙනුවට ගෙන ඒමට නියමිත ප්‍රති ත්‍රස්ත පනතකින් ජනතාවගේ අයිතිවාසිකම් උල්ලංඝනය වන්නේ නම් ඒ පිළිබඳව ඕනෑම පුද්ගලයෙකුට ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨ අධිකරණය හමුවේ අභියෝගිකට ලක් කළ හැකි බව අධිකරණ අමාත්‍ය විජේදාස රාජපක්ෂ මහතා පවසනවා. මෙවැනි පාර්ශ්ව සඳහා නීතිඥ සහාය ලබා දීමට ආණ්ඩු සූදානම් බව මහනුවරදී මාධ්‍ය වේදියෙක නැගු ප්‍රශ්නයකට පිළිතුරු දෙමින් අමාත්‍යවරයා පැවසුවේය. දැන් मेकट कौर एर हिना अभी तो विकल्प देखा तीन पलवीन एक तीन एक होंद ही एक अभी तीन नहीं बुलवांग विना सुनो करें देवनी क्रम तमाइ राटे जाति का रक्षा विनाश उनावे जन जीवित विनाश उनावे ओण दे उनावे राट अराजिक वेला गया त्रस्तवादी पढ़त त्रस्तवादी वेला क्यों पढ़ते आहो सी करें बुलवा इतोट वो कथा करना है कि जीवित तमय मुलि मन तुर लाख අද ද්‍රවිඩ එක්ස සන්ධානේ සුමන්දිරන් මන්ත්‍රීතුමාවත් ඝාතනය කරන්න ක්ලේමෝ බෝම්බයක් දීලා ලක්ෂ 20ක කොන්ත්‍රාත්තුවක් මත ත්‍රස්තවාදී කණ්ඩායම් ද්‍රවිඩ ත්‍රස්තවාදී කණ්ඩායම් කටයුතු කරලා ඒ අයත් අද සිරගත කරලා ඉන්නේ. ඉතින් එහෙම රටක ඒ උදවියම කියනවා මේ මේ ජාතියේ නීති එපා කියලා මේ තමන්ගේ ආරක්ෂාව වෙනුවෙන් මිනිසු හිරේ දාගෙන ඉන්නවා. ඉතින් ඒක නිසා කවුරු හරි කියනවා නම් මීට වැඩි හොඳ එකක් තියෙනවා කියලා අපි ඒක සලකා බලනවා. अवसानदी रटे जनता ऐतिहासिक बला एन जी ओ वेशपालन पक्ष वे श्रेष्ठाधिकरणे ओन के कुट श्रेष्ठाधिकरण की गील पेन्न पुलवा मे त्रस्तवादे वैलाक मे पनत मिनीसुंगे ऐतिहासिक उल्लंघने करण पनता के सती दिखक काल अत्यनो काटहरे उसावीट अन्नोन मेक अभियोग नीति सहलबाद न सुधन प्रधान प्रवृत्ति प्रकाश निवट पत्त लबन सतिये मुनगेम उपसी दिनाटम शुभ सतिया Abacus Solar, latest and reliable solar systems, world best panels and inverters, price beat guarantee, supervised system installation, excellent after sales service. Call 1-300-852-843. Rosewood Downs Excellence in Aged Care, a modern purpose-built home available in single and double rooms with ensuite and telephone in every room. Contact Ruben and Christine on 9701-3234. Sanji Caldera Associates. With our headquarters based in Melbourne, Australia, you can locate our branch offices in Sri Lanka, Dubai, Canada, and London, UK. Some of our services include skilled migration visa, family migration visa, employer sponsorship visa, temporary resident visa, business visa, tourist visa, student visa, administrative appeals tribunal review. Pursuit of excellence through tailored solutions. The science of life, traditionally known as the Ayurveda, 
Consultations, diagnosis and treatments are done by fully qualified Ayurvedic practitioner Dr. Sam Dasanai. Sahandro Ayurvedic Center, best wellness experience. New Year Festival Live telecast on Sri Lanka Morning Show. Gold sponsored by Sanji Caldera Associates. Silver sponsor Crystal Clear Flooring. Bronze sponsor Rosewood Downs. Associate sponsors Edson Plastic, Southern Star Motors, Abacus Solar, Jet Travel and Cruise, Australian Workforce, Barna Legal. The segment that promotes Sri Lankan culture, diversity, nature and heritage is proudly sponsored by Prestige Wardrobe and Shower Screens. We bring you a special segment to promote Sri Lanka. A special thank you to Sandra and Estrick Jackson for providing us with this segment. Good morning. My name is uh, Tissa Vijayaratna, neurologist from Melbourne. Today, brain health for all segment, uh, we are going to talk about uh, mini stroke or transient ischemic attack. Now, you are very familiar with uh, pageants. In particular, in Sri Lankan pageants, uh, you have uh, those men coming up with whips uh, before the real pageant uh, begins. So the TIA is uh, like them. Mini stroke or TIA can be a warning sign of a bigger stroke uh, within the next uh, two to three weeks. So what TIA does uh, is it gives you an opportunity to fix that uh, so that you can prevent uh, ending up with a big stroke. What are the symptoms of uh, TIA you might uh, wonder? Well. Symptoms of TIA or mini stroke are basically the same as symptoms of stroke. You might suddenly lose blood supply to one eye. If that happens, you might experience suddenly 
the vision going off in one eye rather than both eyes uh, as if a curtain drawn in front of your eye that's an indication even though this may last uh, for like 15 minutes 20 minutes uh, that's an indication that you have a problem of blood supply to that part of the brain another symptom would be losing speech uh, inability to say the words that you wanted to say that might last only few minutes uh, sometimes up to about 10 15 minutes uh, sometimes with uh, tingling or numbness or weakness uh, on one side of the body at the same time. The difference between uh, stroke and mini stroke or stroke and TIA is uh, stroke uh, leave you with uh, permanent uh, deficits. Uh, if you lost vision due to stroke uh, that would stay with you until you go to the hospital and uh, for weeks to months uh, sometimes even longer than that. Uh, if you develop tingling numbness or weakness on one side of the body that would last uh, for a long period of time. Whereas mini stroke or TIA symptoms last uh, a shorter period of time. When I teach medical students and young doctors, I normally tell them that uh, stroke, when you see patients, you see the problems that they have. Whereas TIA or mini stroke, you don't see the problem, you hear about them. But when you hear about them, you take them very seriously and do the necessary investigations uh, reasonably urgently. Now at home, if you develop uh, stroke symptoms or mini stroke symptoms, uh, you only do one thing. In Australia, you ring triple zero and ask them to take you to the hospital. You let doctors decide whether it is a mini stroke or a major stroke uh, as uh, the urgent treatment are needed, uh, whether you have a TIA or main stroke. We'll talk more about the investigations of mini stroke uh, during the next episode. Uh, but remember, mini stroke is a warning sign of a bigger stroke and it gives you an opportunity to fix the underlying risk factors uh, so that you can avoid uh, having a stroke. Uh, stroke uh, is contributing to almost 40% of disability caused by all brain disorders. Uh, therefore, preventing strokes uh, is a highest priority for all of us uh, when we work towards uh, quality neurology and better brain health for all. So send your questions in. We'll talk more about uh, how to investigate uh, mini stroke uh, during the next episode. Take care, stay well and stay safe. <music>
beautiful smell. You see? So now I'm gonna add my saffron. And then my rice. It goes they all goes together. No need to wait for one to the other, so on. So So I'm gonna give it a stir. You can see the saffron color comes through and beautiful smells. And so I'm gonna let it cook so like that. So some salt now. So you can see now all the starches start sticking to the bottom. So you reduce the fire and add your water. But you got to keep on stirring until it start boil and add more water and let it cook slowly. Smells beautiful. So as you can see now the water is reducing and the rice is getting cooked. So not fully cooked yet. So this is the time to add my mussels. Because I didn't want to add my mussels earlier. It's difficult to work with. So add my mussels like this. And then give it one more stir. And add my spring onions. And it's good time to taste and see whether you got enough salt. Ah, perfect. So I'll give it another mix like that. Reduce the fire. Well, you can see it's all good now. It's all good. Nice rice grains are cooked, I think. Let me have a good taste and I can see that smell. It's amazing. So let me have a quick taste to see where the rice is cooked. Perfect. So let me start dishing up. Oh, well, here we go. You see, it looks like paella, beautiful seafood rice. You see, all oh, the New Zealand mussels cook nicely. Rice grains are not overcooked. Beautiful al dente cook, very nice. And this parsley over. So there you go, very easy, very simple, and smells beautiful. So this is what I said, it's like paella, but it's not paella, it's a seafood cooked with basmati. So that's all for the day. we we'll see you again with a new recipe next week. Bye for now. Abacus Solar latest and reliable solar systems, world best panels and inverters, price beat guarantee, supervised system installation, excellent after sales service. Call 1300-852-843. Rosewood Downs Excellence in Aged Care, a modern purpose built home available in single and double rooms with ensuite and telephone in every room. Contact Ruben and Christine on 9701 3234. Sanji Caldera Associates. With our headquarters based in Melbourne, Australia, you can locate our branch offices in Sri Lanka, Dubai, Canada and London, UK. Some of our services include skilled migration visa, family migration visa, 
employer sponsorship visa, temporary resident visa, business visa, tourist visa, student visa, administrative appeals tribunal review. Pursuit of excellence through tailored solutions. The science of life, traditionally known as the Ayurveda. Consultations, diagnosis and treatments are done by fully qualified Ayurvedic practitioner, Dr. Sam Dasanai. Sahandro Ayurvedic Center, best wellness experience. New Year Festival Live telecast on Sri Lanka Morning Show. Gold sponsored by Sanji Caldera Associates. Silver sponsor, Crystal Clear Flooring. Bronze sponsor Rosewood Downs. Associate sponsors Edson Plastic, Southern Star Motors, Abacus Solar, Jet Travel and Cruise, Australian Workforce, Barna Legal. Rata Kwasa Geta Patkala, Handa Power Share, Sunira Sumanga. Santana Susunda Vata. Maduratwani, Deda Suvisituna Samagin. Maduratwani, Deda Suvisituna. Good morning and welcome to Sri Lanka Morning Show. We've got Sanji Caldera from Sanji Caldera and Associates with us again in the studio. Good morning, Sanji. Good morning, Sanari. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me today. Continuing on from our last discussion, we'd like to know a bit more about what um, students have in store for them once they've graduated in Australia. Yes, look, um, uh, in my last program, I was talking about uh, the um, benefits and the incentives for in, uh, international students. And we spoke at that time that anybody who did a bachelor's degree uh, would get from two to four years. And from people who have done masters, students who have done masters would get uh, from three to five years. And for uh, students who have done a, a PhD, uh, would get from four to six years. However, I need to qualify that is that ec that extra two years will be given for students who study certain um, professions. Uh, there's a whole list of uh, these professions, um, and so they will qualify. We would know the exact list in first on first of July. And when you say it's uh, two to three years, am I right for a bachelor's? Yes. Yeah, so a uh, person currently who have done a bachelor's degree will get two years okay and under the new rules it'll be four years two right. more years okay and that's two years and that will the visa change from a student visa to a work visa once they've applied and secured employment that's right the f the qualifying um, requirement for a student to get a work visa what we call uh, the temporary um, graduate temporary visa we call it the famous 485 visa in, a, in, a, in the numbers you need to have completed two years of study Mm -hmm. uh, in Australia and right. completed your course. Right. And this is only for bachelor's, master's and postgraduate study, meaning a PhD? Yes. For people who have finished trade two, they will s still get uh, the two years of uh, uh, work, uh, what you call a uh, work visa. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that, that Australian students might face in terms of if there are concerns that they may have about their PR? What um, advice do you have for them? Okay, so what my advice is, as soon as you uh, complete your studies and you do apply for this um, uh, graduate temporary visa, this graduate temporary visa is given, um, as its name stands, graduate. This is about uh, giving the students an opportunity, uh, and they've extended this period so that they have been given plenty of opportunity to uh, improve their skills, get their work experience, improve their English, find employers, and carve their pathway for permanent residency. So it's very, very use important that they use graduate temporary visa to improve their skills right. uh, and um, and have 
different pathways either through general skill migration or through employer sponsorship. So it's sounding like it's becoming easier for students to then kind of integrate into Australian society and remain here in the longer term through permanent residency. That is correct. So what the department is doing is it's giving the, uh, the students more opportunity, more time to get to those, um, to get to those benchmarks. Um, but they must use uh, the, uh, the graduate temporary visa very carefully, making sure that they work in their area of study. Right. Okay. What happens if a student finishes their course of study and then finds it difficult to find employment in that field, but finds employment in a different field? Yes, there are occasions uh, that uh, some students, even two years or three years or four years, they, if specifically if they've been studying a, a, a rare a sort of a program, that they may find uh, difficulty in um, finding employment, getting work experience, getting PR pathways. So to that extent, they have even, the department has come up with a, another solution of what we call a subclass 408 visa. Right. And that is something we call it the pandemic event. Um, when the students have no other options, they have, they have exhausted their um, graduate temporary visa, then they can apply for the 408 visa, which gives them a little bit of more time, and that can be up to two years. To help them find, find more lasting employment. That's right. That. That's really good, Sandri, that there are some alternatives. If you're stuck, then there's, you, there's still hope. Yes, there, there are lots of opportunities for students, but um, as I said, uh, they can't take it easy, but uh, the... Um, the department has given um, more and more opportunity from a time uh, aspect of it for them to get ready. It's sounding like students overseas in Sri Lanka or wherever they may be, if they're thinking of migrating to Australia, then this is the time. Yes, it is very attractive, but I must say that their, their primary purpose when they come as students should be to study. Yes. Um, getting their permanent residence is secondary, um, but they do know now that uh, there are so, mu so much of opportunities after their studies uh, to finally uh, carve a pathway for their permanent residency. And I suppose it's very attractive to students who are um, applying for their first bachelor's degree or undergraduate study at a very young age, just finished high school, because they can still choose the pathway of choice that could lead to you know, a more permanent lifestyle. That's exactly right. And uh, students who are finishing their studies after 1st of July, uh, and or coming to Australia after 1st of July would have uh, um, a certain advantage. But still opportunities for students, uh, who say more mature students, to retrain as well. Yes, you need to satisfy the department that mature students are genuine mm -hmm. um, and uh, that over the years after their uh, university entrance examinations that they have had a, a clear pathway. Uh, so uh, genuineness is very, very important. What is What defines a clear pathway, Sanjay? Clear pathway is what have you done after your uh, secondary school studies? Mm -hmm. uh, what work have you done? What studies have you done? Um, so that uh, they have to uh, prove to the education institution that you are a genuine student. So say, for example, just I'm just speaking in hypotheticals here. Um, a student has an MBA, and this is a mature student. And they want to come here um, as uh, a chef or some area that's more skilled. Is that a possibility if they've been working in an MBA related field, say as a general manager or something like that? You have taken extreme situation, very unlikely that they will get a visa. If somebody has done an MBA and wants to do a PhD, then it might be. So it has to be further development Study, in their studies. I understand that you can have a change in your occupations, but certainly they have to satisfy the, uh, the department. I see. Thank you very much for all that vital information to students, I'm sure, Sanji. I'm sure our viewers really appreciate it all. You're welcome, Sanji. Looking forward to having you with us in the studio again. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.
music going down as a party. राता क्वासा गेट अपात कल हंड पाउर शेयर सुनीर सुमंगा मधुराध्वनी देदाह सुविसितुना समगे मधुराध्वनी देदाहस विसितुना 